Hey guys, so it is already 1.49 p.m. and I'm just starting vlogging, so sorry about that. Um, so I actually wanted to talk about Christmas, which I know everybody is like, don't talk about Christmas yet. Christmas is two months away and a lot of people start their shopping around now. So I wanted to discuss it really quickly because I got a, um, an email the other day. I've always told you guys, feel free to email us. Um, everybody on my channel knows my email is... Um, Nikki.meadows at yahoo.com. So Nikki period meadows at yahoo.com. It's N I C K I E period M E A D O W S at yahoo.com. Um, or you can contact me through my Facebook page. Um, but I did get a message asking what I would recommend to get kids for Christmas this year that are around my kids' age because. Um, I guess she's a new mom and she's kind of a little iffy about what to get kids because it is kind of confusing. So I wanted to go through and show you. First, one thing that I found really interesting is that Toys R Us has like this thing where you can make a wish list for your kid. Um, and I think that's cool for like people like me who live far away from their families, you know, because I can just say like, if, if somebody asks me like what they want for Christmas, I can just say, oh, I have this wish list and I can email them or send them a text with the link to the wish list. Um, so this is how it works. This is ours. I just figured I'd show you how it works. Um, it says Clover Ever, uh, you know, hyphen Everly Meadows Christmas wish list. And that's how I did it because there's two of them. I just put a hyphen, or I think that's called a hyphen, between the two. Um, and then it says like Brighton, Colorado, and blah, blah. And then it's just like the wish list number right there. So I guess this number here is how you like know. Um, how you can like find their wish list or maybe you can find it by name I don't know so basically this these are the items that I put in their wish list and I figured I'd show you guys some in case you have a kid around their age and you're thinking of stuff to get them so the first one is this little play school pop in park elephant busy ball popper and it's just like a little elephant that pops balls out and he is she she's a girl they do have it in blue if you have a boy it's like $34.99 um, and then, like, all these items, like, I ranged items all the way from $7 to, like, $34.99. So, um, I have the Sleeping Beauty DVD, the Rapunzel DVD, the Little Mermaid DVD, a Sing Along Princess DVD, and the Tinkerbell DVD. Um, the reason for that is because DVDs are lightweight, uh, easy to have shipped, and they're, you know, around, like, $20. And these ones are, like, $12.99, some are $15, which is a decent price that people are looking to kind of spend. Um, you know, usually I think that's, like, the price for, like, our family does for, like, nieces and nephews and stuff is, like, up to $20. Um, so I also put this little Disney Princess little music note six-button book which is $9.99, so again, a good price for someone to get. Um, this little Disney Princess plush bear that has, like, Rapunzel on the tummy. Um, now, they are really into princesses right now. They've been watching a lot of princess movies lately, and they've been really into it. That's why I decided to do their room that way, um, and that's why all this stuff is mostly Disney Princess. Um, they have a little pop-up hamper on here, because some people want to get your kid something that, like, they can use in everyday life. They don't want to get them a toy, but you know the same person that buys you socks will get your kid a hamper <laughs> I'm just kidding um I like socks actually I could use some socks <laughs> so what else do I have okay then I have this little memory game and this is the one that's $6.99 so you know a good price for someone to get um, the Disney Princess keyboard, which is again $34.99. These, the more expensive ones would be like for me or Daryl or like my mom, but my mom already knows what she's getting them or like his parents, maybe, I don't know. But, you know, and Daryl will actually be looking at this too, which is actually the reason I created it because he'll be up there all the way until Christmas. So he might want to have stuff shipped. That way he can say he got them some gifts and, you know, he doesn't have to be here to get them. And then I also put on this um, VTech Kitty Zoom camera in pink because Clover really likes our camera. And then just these little people, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, because they love their little dopey. Um, and then just pillows. Now be careful whenever you do this or if you know someone who's doing this because it will say, like, desired. Um... And then it'll say how many do you want to buy. So make sure that you're only buying the amount that you want to buy. Don't, because like 
before I pushed one on there, it said two. So be careful because sometimes it'll say two even if you just want one. So their list, you know, is, is kind of long, but it's not super long. And I figure me and him and maybe my family can use it for Christmas and their birthdays because their birthdays are right after Christmas. So that is what their little list looks like. Um, as far as my kids, I prefer, I think, that people will send them gifts as opposed to money. I know money for some people is easier to send, but I think it's more personal if they get a gift and I might be, it might sound lazy, but I don't want to have to take them both out to take them and get something with their money. So it's just easier for me to do it that way. But I have had people give me money for them and I just go and get them whatever they want. But I'm just saying if you might not want to have someone give them money because then you have to personally take them out in the cold in the winter and then does that make any sense at all i don't know um so my point was you'll have to take them out to get their stuff and you might not want to do that so that's all um and i just thought it'd be cool to give you guys some ideas of what you could get your kids around my kids age because when clover had her first christmas i really didn't know what to get her and i really didn't know what to have people get her so what are you doing what are you eating everly hold on so we're at this little park that's in our complex and clover's playing go ahead no don't no sticks look clover Look at sister. Yeah! Here, Ev. Ready, Ev? Come on. Let me get all this wood off. Oh, yuck. Okay, come on. Ready? Give me a hand. Ready? Whee! Clover, cut it out. Don't do that. Yep, come on. You wanna go down the slide? Go down the slide. Clover's always trying to go up the slide. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a little playground area for the kids and it has like wood chips, which I hate to be honest, the wood chip part, but. to yell at some children because they were throwing all these little sticks around and I'm like there's a baby like there's babies you cannot throw with sticks <sighs> Clover say hi no baby yuck yuck Everly Everly, what are you doing? What are you doing? Clover, you wanna go down the slide again? You wanna go down the slide? <laughs> Come here, you want mommy to put you on the slide? Come on. <laughs> Whee! I'm still like thinking about it. Here, Ev. Give mommy your hand. Ready? Ready? Scoot your little bum. Say, Whee! Go get Penny. Clover, go get Penny. Get Penny. She's getting dirty. Oh, sorry guys. Okay. Come here. Come on. What are you doing? Jump. You gonna jump? <laughs> jump. Come on, jump. Jump. Just jump. No, he's too scared. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you jump in. Jump, jump, jump. Jump. <laughs> you can come down the slide. You gonna come down the slide? Come on. Come on, Clover. <laughs> Jump! Jump! <laughs> Throw it. Throw that. Throw it. Yuck. Sister's gonna go down the slide again. Come on, sister. Oh, Miss Everly. Miss Everly. You put your shirt down. Go ahead. You just want to sit here? You want to go down the slide with sister? Oh, you're tired. Give me a kiss. No kiss. Say hi. hi. What? No kisses. When people see me vlogging, they always think I'm not. But that's okay. Come on, Clover. Mm -hmm. You ready, Ev? Come on. You gotta slide, baby. You gotta let your feet out. Ready? Give me this one. Put this on there. Let's go. Whee! You gotta let your arm go. Whee! Yay! Isn't that fun? Everly. <laughs> Get her. Get sister. Give sister. Give sister kisses. No, you don't want to give sister kisses. All the fall leaves. I love them. They're all over the place here. You done? Okay, so we're back from the park and I just wanted to show you the progress I made on their room thus far. Um, because the paintings, the four paintings I decided are gonna go up there. The um four Disney princess characters. And then over here, there's gonna be decals that say their names or something. I'm not exactly sure yet. And then this I'm replacing with a bow board that I'm going to make. So look out for that DIY. But right now it looks like this. Oh, you can't even see no light because of the stupid glare from the window. There we go. Okay. Let me just give it a little light so you can see something. That room's kind of messy right now, but okay. So, yeah, it's still doing that. It looks like this, and if you're wondering why the princesses are creating a border, I will tell you in a second. I'm not sure if I want to move Belle upward or if I want to keep her there. I don't know yet. I don't know. Um, and then I put the two paintings over there and then it has the wall letters up there um the reason there's a huge space in the middle is because there's a decal on its way still that hasn't come that just says dream until your dreams come true and i'm going to put that in the middle there um so in the middle of all the princesses but up close he in person the princesses look a lot nicer but so there's jasmine and below her it says jasmine and then cinderella and it says cinderella they all say their names. Aurora's up there. Belle's there. Tiana, Rapunzel, and Snow White. And then the two paintings that look like this. I put them here because my mom had made the comment that they need a lot of light to be glow-in-the-dark. So 
I put them where there's a lot of light, even though this one doesn't seem to be getting any light, but that's because the sun is setting right now. So they just kind of look like this. And again, like this. And then, of course, the wall letters that I made. So that is the progress I made only on one wall, obviously. But like I said, the, the four paintings will be all that's going on this wall, I think, because there's just not a lot of space on this wall that's available with the huge window. So I think it'll just be the four paintings. Later on, I might put something here, but at this point, I don't know. I might, like, have a um, cork board there and maybe put some of their drawings or something. I'm not sure yet. But on this wall, like I said, I'm not... 100% sure what it'll be, but someone from Etsy contacted me about possibly doing a review for them of these huge Disney princess wall decal letters and like names, so I might put those over top of their beds. And then like I said, I'll be making a bow board for this wall, so again, look out for that DIY soon. I'm not doing it yet, but very soon that'll be getting done. <sighs> so that is what's going on in their room, and it's a freaking mess. Ugh, they wanted to play with the sticker papers, so they were playing with those. But why is your lamp on, Clover? Clover figured out how to turn the lamp on, so that's become a thing now. Um, so anyways, I hope that you guys liked seeing us at the park a little bit. The house is a mess. I need to clean. They've just, they've created a mess. They really have. Just, just a mess. But... So I'm going to upload the vlog from yesterday and then get to clean it and cooking dinner. Um, and I figured I'd show you guys the decal that I ordered them that says, dream until your dreams come true. So yeah, I thought that was pretty darn cute and I thought it went really well with their theme and I like to put inspirational things on their wall. So yep, that is what they'll be, I'll be putting in the middle. Just go with me here. So I'm watching Shark Tank. And this girl comes in with this hoodie on, and this is an old episode. Let me know if you watch Shark Tank down below and you've ever seen, like, some crazy stuff. But she comes in with this hoodie on, and then, like, apparently this hoodie rolls out into a blanket. And at first, like, from the back, it just looks normal. But then, like, on the front, she's got this huge bulge, like, right on her belly of this blanket. Because she was, like, a thinner girl. And she just could not understand why they didn't think it was, like, people would wear that. Like... It's actually a really good idea to combine like a blanket with a hoodie because like you know like a hoodie you'd wear outside not like a freaking snuggie because like that'd be good for like soccer moms and stuff like that but like come on you can't nobody wants to look fatter like nobody even if you're skinny you don't want to look fat like oh god I can't some of these people 